Hey everybody, greetings, uh, greetings, I'm back. We're going to talk tonight. For those that are listening to the replay, hello, hello, hello. For those that are coming back tonight, um, I'm welcome, welcome, welcome. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and I promise you we're going to, I said we were going to talk about February and all of the wonderful things and business that we can do to generate and create wealth. I am a biz strategist. I'm Sandy. I have helped my clients to start a business from scratch to do all of the intricate parts that's going to make their business a success. But what I'm coming here tonight is please ask your questions, please do what you um please ask questions please come in and, and join us thank you for being here now we all know that jobs are being lost people are being you know just terminated and there are so many of you out here that have brilliant ideas there's somebody so many of you out here are successful in your own right and you probably don't even know what to do you don't even know hello there hey on instagram so if i look away from here from this camera i'm looking over here at instagram so please if you have any questions about business this is what we're going to talk about tonight ask me ask me ask me so we're going to talk about this and i'm going to go on and get started so if i see a question at some point between my you know speaking and talking what i'm talking about i'm going to answer questions about how about that so nobody won't get offended and things like that so this is going to be a look con, you know a conversation tonight between us but i'm going to go ahead and start talking about how to be successful in business things that people don't tell you these is you don't hear this you don't hear this outside of you getting in somebody's class or somebody's course and then they got you in there and then they're trying to sell you sell you and sell you and sell you and not telling you anything. But these are some of the things that you, if you want to get contract, things that you must have in place, if you want to get a contract, if you want to get government contracts, if you want to have a business that can get grants and, you know, money and funding out here to grow a business. It's, there's, let me tell y'all, a lot of the money is, I wouldn't say hidden, but a lot of the money for business is places where you may not think it is. OK, and I'll explain that to you later. It's funding out here and it's things that you need to do so where you can be in position to get the funding. So this is why a lot of you are not getting the funding for number one. I maybe maybe you don't read enough, and you know, and I'm not trying to say anything, trying to be negative here with you. But some of you may not be reading enough. Some of you may not be, um, put it this way. Some of you may not, may not care enough, I guess, to, to research like you should. And just looking at the surface and surface stuff and thinking that, okay, the, what everybody else is doing. Okay. Sorry about that. I was listening at YouTube earlier. So here again, for those, I see you coming on this screen here. Please ask the questions um, if you want to know anything about monetizing your business in 2024. But first thing that I'm going I'm to talk to you about, the, one of the first things that you should do, one of the first things that you should do is get your personal stuff together, meaning your personal credit together. Why do I say that? Because once you are here or once you are going to be here and in this space to monetize a business or to grow a business, your personal credit is going to be, it needs to be together. And why does it need to be so where before you get up and build up and you have to build up your, your business on, on its own before you can start applying for business or, or either build your business credit up for to get um, funding that way. Okay. And when you are starting out or your business is really not, unless you got strong personal credit, your business is not going to get the funding that it needs. Grants are not, sometimes you got to work for a grant. Or I'm going to be honest with you. You have to work for a grant, meaning you have to, it's so much is going to be required in your research. You're in competition with a lot of other people with grants and things like that. So if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to have to really, really work for it. And it's going to be hard for you. And you're going to get discouraged. But I don't want you to be discouraged. So anyway, let me get back to telling you what you need to do personally to be successful in business with your business, with your personal credit. 
get your personal credit together. If it's weak, if it's low, get it at a at a strong point. OK, there are some ways you can do that. All right. We won't talk about them tonight, but I'm going to just give you things that you need to do. We'll talk about the hows later, but these are some of the things that you must be conscious of that you got to do in order to be able to take yourself to the next level. Bottom line. OK, now with with that being said is you got to get you together. You got to decide and really, really get consistent with personal development. That's so important. I understand y'all say making money, you know, uh, all this other stuff don't include making money in your business. Yes, it does. Some things in my life, and I look back over them, it took me about seven years to get to where I am now on some areas of my life. Seven years to get to the place in my life that I can say, hey, I'm secure in this area with me. I'm secure in what I'm doing and I'm not looking to the left. I'm not looking to the right. And you're going to have to do the same thing. You're going to have to do the same thing. You are going to have to get you together before you deter decide. Think about this. If you can make, let's say, I'm going to ask you a question. Can you handle a million dollars right now? Any of you? Okay. I have a staffing company. Is there a grant? for that sector, a staffing company. I'm sure it is because think about this. Okay. You have a staffing company. You, okay. Your staffing company is going to what you, you, you are helping someone to grow a business with a staffing company. Cause you're, you're the company that's, you know, you're giving them staff, you know, you're helping them with staff, right? This economy is built on capitalism and especially in the United States. Okay. So think about it. If you have a staffing company, there's going to be grants. There's going to be government grants and there's going to be, okay, for most of you, let me tell you where grants come from. Let me just start right here and just tell you grants come from, you know, people giving to foundations, putting money into foundations and giving, you know, so where they, these are wealthy people for the most part outside of government grants now, because government has initiatives too. Okay. But putting money in, um, found, you know, people, wealthy people, millionaire and billionaires, they're putting their money into foundations so where they can get a tax write off and help. And, you know, they have so much money that they probably purchase everything they want to buy. And, you know, that's not the only reason why they do it, but this is just a, a some of the ways. So anyway, they give to cause that's important to their heart. And that's why you have to get out here. And when you search, when you're out here looking for a grant, this is why you have to really search in your niche or search, you know, that somebody with a grant, I mean, that has a grant, the grantor, somebody that has the same values and beliefs that you do. And that's how you search for a grant. Okay. If some of you don't know that. Okay. Now with that being said, yes, but you not got to know who specifically, and you got to niche down. Okay. Who, what company are you staffing? If you, what kind of staffing company are you, you know, are you, is it a certain niche that you're, you know, you're working in? Can you tell me that? And then I can answer another question for you too. But while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and talk about a few of the other things. And thank you for the question. Cause I said, I um, welcome your questions because I'm live now. So, you know, you know, those that do have questions, I welcome your questions. And I'm right here on the screen too. If anybody in, over here have any questions on, you know, YouTube, my YouTube channel and Facebook and, and the like. So, Please, please, please don't hesitate to come in. Hotels and restaurants. Okay. Yes, there are grants out there because think about it. The travel, you know, and with hotels and restaurants, I mean, there's all types and sorts of people would do that. And in restaurants, I'm sure that even with the restaurant, restaurant, they feed, you know, whatever kind of restaurant it is, I'm sure they feed so many different people. You know, if there's corporations have meetings, they feed, you know, they feed people. They have work. They may, some of them, the restaurants may do catering. Hotels need staff and, and everybody is doing, putting on events and at hotels and things like that. And the same people that may be giving to some of these grants may do some of those things that can use the services. So yes, um, I can, if you can DM me and get in touch with me, DM me and I, I'll, um, we can talk about that a little further offline. Can you do, if you, you know, 
if I can give you some tips on that, you know, I can kind of lead you in the right direction if you like, you know, just just let me know. And I, I'll, I'll do, you know, do something for you a little bit deeper. So now also. But before you get to that point with Grant, OK, all righty. Thank you. So before you get to and they just asked the question about grants over here on Instagram. Before you get to that point to get a grant, everything needs to be real good. I mean, it could be a new business, but you have to be very specific to like, OK, you need it for a staffing company. You need to be specific on the number of staffing that, you know, how are you going to make a difference? How are you going to add value in that area? Hint, hint. You know, with your hotel and your restaurants, what is your purpose, your mission, your value, your vision? And when do you expect to get there? See, all of this stuff, like I always be talking to you sometimes and a lot of times people, all of this is included in a plan, a business plan. It don't have to be a 50 page plan, but it needs to be a plan that you have methodically thought it out and you are going to add value to the people that's going to give, you know, to not necessarily per se them the investors or who those that are going to give you the money whether it's going to be a grant or it's going to be the you know sba or it's going to be a loan or whatever how are you going to contribute to this economy that is love capitalism how are you going to help enhance this world um this united states of america in the capitalism area see what i'm saying so if you got it thought out you can you know you can make something happen now also there's a few things that you will need along with setting up a business and starting a business whatever it is getting some funding people they have to know that you're serious and oh by the way a lot of you that are setting up llc's now or s corps or c corps and corporations and things like that don't forget about the fencing i did a video about that you know you don't want to be charged 500 dollars a day new updates for 2024 you can go to my youtube channel and see that or either um also i've done it all of my all, all over my platforms and i gave you some information about that particular in you know situation with Finn Sin and I, you know, I give you step by step. My daughter just did her paperwork because she set up a, a business, you know, one of her businesses too the other day. She did that. She got her number. She said it didn't take up her to, a day to get it. And then she also, you know, just make sure you have your Dunn's number and all those things like that too. Just make sure you ready and prepared and equipped okay if you need a virtual address get your virtual address or whatever it is you you got up no p.o boxes and when you out here in business if you don't have a brick and mortar location yourself so make sure you got all those things together you know your business bank account get all of that together bank with a credit union if you 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 want to bank with a credit union and maybe you want to bank with a big bank too as well make sure that you got yourself on a solid foundation Solid, 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 solid by nation. And I think I got, I have another video that I talk about. Maybe it might be a couple before that. I talk about, you know, how many bank accounts you should have, you know, have, yeah, how many bank of business, I mean, not bank accounts you should have, but, but accounts you should have. Like if you're banking with one bank, you should have a, a few different accounts, especially if you're one for taxes, you know, one for maybe your daily operations in your business, one for even like paying payroll or things like that. And then also because you can keep them separately, there's nothing wrong with having more than one bank account, you know when for your business at one particular bank you can have an you know have one at another place you don't want to keep everything at the same in the same pile either the same location and especially as you grow okay so keep that in mind too now let me go ahead and get a little bit you know also like i said get your entity and things like that now also make sure that whatever county that your business is in that you are going to have your county license if they require it and make sure if there's any other professional license and make sure that you're not you're in compliance with that and along with that if there's any kind of additional policies that you're going to need and also maybe like something bonding things like that you're going to need to be bonded so you know like i said outside of the just the people telling you to get the basic stuff with business this is a lot of stuff that you need to have and see a lot of times when you're out here working on getting grant money and grant funding for your business when they see that you have this they raise up they say hmm they look and say hmm that person there 
we may need to look a little bit closer because they are really thinking about the future in their business and they're going to pay more attention to you to it that just a little hint just to let you know that they're going to pay you a little bit close attention to you now let's talk about maybe a website or something like that that you might need you may not just per se need a full-blown website you may just use some kind of like a sales page or a landing page or a link to a certain different you know areas of what you're selling or you know whatever your business have but some of them will use uh you know you may need a website in in that case but in some cases you may not, but then also make sure that you have ways that you can communicate with your, you know, your potential clients and get them off the social media platforms. And oh, by the way, if you click the link or either go to push the you can connect with me and get on the list. So if when I have some things going on outside of social media, you know about them. So make sure that you come you doing that merchant what do you mean what, what are you saying about merchant is it something i say that you um yeah tell me what you're saying when you you mentioned merchant maybe um it was something i said and you just said merchant merchant too so now the next thing is let's talk about what you're going to be selling your products are our service or oh, account okay account yeah a merchant account yeah oh okay when i was mentioning the, the, the uh, accounts that you need to have at the bank and, and yeah yeah definitely a merchant account as well so um also your products and services determine them and determine how to price them we'll talk about that to another day you don't just go off the prices that everybody else is pricing even if you in the same range you know you in the same area or you in the same um the same industry or niche or whatever that's some other company because they may have overhead that you don't have operating expenses not you know that's a part of the overhead they may have expenses that you don't and it might be differently but you want to kind of stay in you know in the lines and not too far from your competition as well but the you need to be methodically you know you need to think that out clearly and then also if you don't think it out clearly, you're going to be out of business because you're going to price yourself out of business because you're trying to do like everybody else, but you don't know their situation in their business. So you got to be very careful with that. OK, connecting to vendors, any kind of business that you have connecting to vendor is vendors is going to be very important to you too. getting account, maybe setting up a third, a net 30 or net 90 or a net. I mean, like six, 30, 60 or 90 day with with your vendors and also there are some vendors that can help you in an area where you can build up your business credit as well okay so there are some out there that if you talk to them and find out what's what you can build it up too but before you do all of the you perform that relationship with with them it's good to have a solid foundation of getting your structure together and that is what in that way they will approve you i find that to be for a lot of my clients that i do help them in those areas i found that to be very important if they got their structure together they have their phone number they may have their business number not their cell number they have a business number they may have have a, and then, oh, also, I didn't mention this to you, being on the 411 listing, that's so important, too, because as you are out there and as your, your stamp, your business is being noticed out there in the um, a digital blueprint, for the most part, a digital track a track record or, or whatever that is so important and that's going to help you stand out and it's going to be you're going to be able to to build your business credit in that area quicker too now let's also talk about your team okay i know a lot of you right off you may not be able to hire somebody and have somebody on your team and i mean your team your employees in whatever area you starting off let's say and, start, and then some of you may start off you may need a team of maybe five six seven or eight or something like that well you definitely want to make sure that you have your human resources information all together meaning your setting up your operating agreement setting up your employee handbook or manual what do you want them to do in your company operating you know standard of operating procedures so where your company can run smoothly it's nothing it this is not a thick thick book that you really have to do but you just got to sit down and 
think about what what you want each person to do in their own little job description area, creating a job posting, getting out there, recruiting, finding out whether you're going to use an agency to help you staff your employees or whether you're going to, you know, whether you're going to just kind of do it yourself for now. Who knows? I don't know. So, you know, however you decide to do it, you got to make sure that you cross all your T's and um, dot your eyes, and then also once you get to, you know, you you're gonna have a legal side of it. You're gonna have you're gonna have to pay those payroll taxes during that time. And according to every all the big corporations, and and I do know this for sure. One of your most expensive, or most your one of your biggest expenses in business is going to be your payroll. This is why during the time when we were in the pandemic, the PPP loan was for the payment protection plan. That was to help keep its employees so where the economy can still flow. That was not for anybody to get out here and just tell all kind of lies like they had employees and they didn't have employees. And then they got into all this trouble because they didn't have any quarterly taxes that was showing that these people were a part of their team. They had no way of even having them register for us. You know, I mean, you couldn't find these employees, no way in the system. The IRS was not receiving their tax money or the, you know, their payroll taxes from them or nothing. And this is how so many people got caught up because they just blankly straight out told lies about they had a staff of 15, 20 and got all this money back. And they had a payroll of this and that. No, had they legitimately did it before the pandemic, they would have been good. They would have been straight because guess what? They would have gotten the money from the government to help them sustain the, those those employees and keep them on staff, uh, you know, a little longer. So I think they messed up that, messed that up for themselves in a big way. Okay. So um, now some of you may need a loan not outside of a grant. You may not want to do that. Or you may be not in a position to get, um, you know, a, a grant or it's too tedious for you or whatever. Well, if you're getting a loan or if you're applying for a loan for your business, a loan will definitely help. But you got to qualify for that loan. Here again, a lot of times you have to be personally, your personal credit have to be so strong enough that um, it will sustain this loan. You know, it would help you take care of this loan. And then also getting a loan, a, a decent loan, because you can get a predatory loan quicker too, but it's going it, to, it's not going to benefit you. You must have all these things planned out. Have a have a good no a good you know a good blueprint or a good road of which way you're going to be traveling, right? You got to know where you're going to be traveling. Navigating system. Let's call that business plan a navigating system. It's going to navigate you to all the money that you want if you do it right. Now, your marketing plan, that is a very very key important part too. Your marketing plan, what your marketing plan is going to do is your marketing plan is going to guide you to plant yourself on your feet on solid ground. And it's going to help you to repeat and get continuous customers and get continuous business for a long time. And it's going to give you that momentum and it's going to put your business out there and it's going to put that digital it's going to add a digital touch to it, a physical touch to it, whatever the case may be. And your people or your your ideal client is going to find you through this marketing plan. If you don't, hey, we don't fail to plan. We just, I mean, we don't plan to fail. We just fail to plan. That's what I meant to say. That's what we do. So instead of doing that, we are going to plan. All right. We're going to be planning. Now, Let's talk about email a little bit more. I know email is a little 
Some people don't use email as much, or if you opt into something and you use your email address, sometimes you're using an email address that you don't really check that often and all those good things too as well. Well, that's why the beauty of it, that the creative minds have come up with something a little bit more, more, more better. Well, better. We won't say more better. We'll say better, better for you. Guess what that is? That's the text messaging system. Text messaging system, you can, it, it, it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> With that text messaging system, you can have someone text you. And I'm changing my mind, by the way, so I won't give you my old one I had. But anyway, I had a text messaging system that I'm going to, that I, I you know, that people would, you know, send me a text message and they would and then as if when they attach it to you know when they first you know send the code that I tell them to send to the message what I do is I have a little gift form once they interact with me so that's another way that you could communicate with people that are new to you and connecting with you so that's what I do and that's what I did with mine okay now also there's a few things that you must have software that is going to be good for you to have when it comes down to you making money in your business, especially digitally. Now, there are other ways, too, that you can connect um, and make money, especially if you're in a brick and mortar. But having your having a payment processor is necessary. Can't get around it. If you're not willing to invest this small amount of money to software to help your business run functionally, there is no reason that you are in business because you have to spend money in business in order to make money. You have to invest in yourself a little, at least a little, <laughs> at least at a beginner standpoint. You have to, you have to, you have to. Now, there's also some marketing material that will be good for you to create for your business. Do that. Create some bits. Create something. Now, a lot of people say credit cards or people don't really use credit cards anymore. Honey, whatever floats your boat when it comes down to stuff like this, use it. Don't leave no traditional marketing unturned. Keep the traditional marketing going, okay? There's a campaign that I'm working on for a client of mine, and it's working just by this old-fashioned way of marketing, okay? Old-fashioned way. So don't, let, don't get too good out here with technology and forget about mailing things to people and Y'all get junk mail all the time, don't you? Think about that. They're still sending you other information. Some of you, a lot of you may throw it in the trash, but then a lot of you may not throw it in the trash. <laughs> so it's a numbers game when it comes down to that too as well. Yeah. Now, also, along the way, let's not forget about this step. This next one I'm going to say to you. Survey. Find out what people like about you. Find out what they don't like about your business. That's what I'm talking about. And, I, you know, you ever heard some people say, you know, well, there's a certain group of people. Yeah, nobody really patronizes them because they don't know what they're doing. Oh, OK. Yeah, they are. They're not, you know, their business is not this. They're not that. This is why you can nip that in the bud, chop it off, cut it up. You can do that. You know how you can chop it up and cut it off. You can do that by surveying them, asking them what's going on so where you can work on fixing it. Now, the next one is going to be getting your team together. You got to have a team. I don't care what's going on in your business world. You must have a team. And a team can consist of an attorney, a CPA, you know, a banker, an insurance agent for those maybe in real estate, and a business coach, somebody to help you with your business endeavors. Yes, you need them as a part of your team. You need that, those people, whether it be your advisors or whatever, but you're going to need them. 
You're going to need them in your business. That is so important. And now, I do want to say to you, once you get to this point here and get all of these things in and some more. There are some more that you can do too as well. But if you, I promise you, if you get this situated and this taken care of, everything else in your business is going to run smoothly because you will have that momentum going to get it done. So now with that being said, these are some of the things can get you started to monetizing your business. Basic things that is, I don't think maybe sometimes you, we know that it's a part of business, but they, we don't understand how important they are. Okay. All right. Well, I am going to go and I will definitely see you tomorrow, but happy February to you. And we're going to talk about this a little bit more. We had a few questions tonight. And maybe as we keep con continue to coming on talking about this, we we'll have more people that will will join in with us, so where we can have a um, a healthy conversation and a wealthy conversation about going to your next level in business. Don't depend on your job as your only in resource or source of income. Okay. I was talking with someone yesterday and they saw this lady in the grocery store and said she was 73 years old and said she had to work because her social security was not enough. You don't want to be that. You don't want to be that person to say, you know, I've worked all my life at this place. And the only thing I can show for it is my little check that I get every month. And because I did not, when I was able, I don't know her situation, but I'm just saying when I was able to do something or able to have or healthy, a little bit healthy than I am now to have more money to do, you know, to, um, to make more money, to have some of the nicer things in life. Golly, I didn't even do it. I wasted time. I watched so much TV. I did this and I did that. I didn't even think about this day was coming that I may be health wise. I may not be able to move around and my mind may not be as sharp as it used to be to make and make some things to shake and make some things happen. So I'd let all of that time pass me by. And now look at me. You don't want to be that person to say that you're living in regret. You don't want to be that person. Never would you want to be that person in life. So my recommendations for you is think about starting you a business. You can keep your job. You can do whatever you want to do, but don't ever forget to think about and take action on having a business. You can have a business in the stock market. You can have a business real estate. You can have a brick and mortar business. You can have a digital business. You can have, you know, entrepreneur. Don't forget about entrepreneurship. Okay. Don't forget about it. And I'm here to help you navigate yourself through this maze <laughs> of opportunity. And it's not a maze in a bad way, but it is a maze to get yourself out here and doing some great things in business. Okay. But you can do it. All right. You can do it. And also remember, you were created for greatness. We all were created for greatness. Child, don't let nobody tell you you weren't created for greatness. Stop listening to folks saying you ain't this, you ain't that. And you came from the other side of the pond. Or no, your parents wasn't this. Oh, I remember that, 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 that. Get that. Stop letting people put you back in your past. Stay moving forward. Stay in your future don't allow people to put you in your past. Keep you there. Don't allow that. Don't let people keep you there. You got to go. Let them stay there. And look at the opportunities that you have in the world today. Okay? All right. And that's all I want to say to you tonight. Outside of what we talked about. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a beautiful evening. All right? Bye-bye.